So today I'll be showing you how to make Arya's needle from Game of Thrones completely out of paper. Um, what you're seeing here is completely made out of paper other than glue and, um, and some paint. So uh, to further how good this sword this is, I'm going to do a quick stress test where I'm going to quickly stab a cardboard box with this to show you how strong this sword is. As you can see, it goes right through with no damage at all to the sword. So you're going to start off with 9 sheets of cardstock paper. And all you're going to do is you're going to fold it um, vertically, uh, spread some glue on one side, and then fold it back and then fold it again vertically, spread some glue on that side and close it. You're gonna make nine of these and you're gonna let them dry for a little bit. So as you can see, I've made nine sheets of the hardened paper. All I'm going to do now is leave them under some heavy textbooks to dry and make sure that they're flat. And then once they're dry, we can start working with them. So once I finish letting them dry, I put lines through all the centers of them. And basically you can make a template that's three of the sheets length and uh, three high. So you're going to stagger them like bricks. And then you're going to have to cut some in half just to make it that length. Um, and that's basically it. You're gonna start gluing them together um, and creating this three long template and let that dry for a little bit. So after it, I finished gluing them together and letting them dry, I drew a, sm a pretty thin blade like the needle onto the template so I will be ready to cut it out. So after cutting out one blade, I, I stenciled another one onto the, the template, except I made a smaller blade inside of the stencil 
since I'm gonna have two smaller blades next to the, the main blade. So this is what the the second bevel blade looks like. Um, basically, I'm going to take another one and stencil it onto the template and make an exact copy of that one. As you can see, I'm going to stack them like this on top of each other, so it kind of acts like a bevel. One's slightly smaller than the other. One's going to go on the other side, so I'm going to cut out another one. So I cut out all three. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to glue them together. Um, they're a bit weak by themselves, but I'm going to stack them on top of each other, the main blade in the center, and surrounded by the two smaller blades. And then I'll, I'll glue those together and let it dry overnight. So now that the blade's done, I'm going to take a quick coat of silver spray paint onto it just to make it look a bit nicer and give it that metallic finish. Now we're going to start working on the guard. So you're going to need another sheet of hardened paper. So this time you're going to fold it horizontally um, and spread glue on one side and then fold it again horizontally. You're going to make two of these and then you're going to stack them on top of each other using the same glue, sp glue spread method. So now I'm going to take one sheet of construction paper and spray gold spray paint all over it and then let it dry since we'll be using this for the handle later. So I just eyeballed a picture of the guard from a picture online and I made a quick template and I was going to put this on the sheet that we made and cut it out so that we have our guard ready. I'm going to give this guard a quick coating of gold spray paint just because that's how it looks in the show and uh, let it dry for a bit and then you can start to assemble later. Now we're going to take the construction paper that we spray painted gold earlier and we're going to spread glue on the non-gold side and then we're going to roll it up into a, cyl a cylinder that will fit onto the, onto the handle of the blade.
So after fitting the handle and the guard onto the blade, I'm going to take a, a rectangle of brown construction paper, spread glue on it, and then I'm going to wrap it around the handle since in the show, the blade has a small leather grip, so this is going to simulate that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a thin strip from that original sheet of gold that you had and we're going to wrap it around the butt of the sword just so that it's bigger than the handle. So as our last step, I'm going to take a small circle of gold um, construction paper and I'm just going to use the glue to put it at the bottom of the blade. So that's pretty much it for this build. The sword came out beautiful and I love the way it looks um, and it's extremely strong and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment and I will be back next time.